Chrissy D here. So today I'm going to show you guys how to achieve this look right here using Chrissy D Cosmetics and lots of other great cosmetic brands. You guys are going to get ready with me today, so I'm really excited. Here it goes. So what you guys see underneath my eyes is called an eye mask and I'm actually wearing the brand Canvas Skincare. It's this great skincare company that I actually collabed with a few months ago and they gave these to me so I want to try them out and um, yeah, we'll see how the finished product comes out. Sometimes I like to do my brows first and just kind of brush them out a little bit and these are great. You can, you can get this pretty much at any beauty supply store. So I'm just going to kind of brush them up a little. I've had these on now for about 15 to 20 minutes, so I'm going to take them off and see if it's made any difference. Yeah, my eyes look actually rejuvenated already, so I'm just going to take some of the residue and like dab it. Got the collagen back in my face, guys. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this primer. It is by Hourglass. It's good for a base if you're just trying to make sure that your makeup sets well and you don't want it to move. Um, you don't have to use Hourglass. There's a lot of other brands that are great, but that one in particular is one of my favorites and it's also very hydrating. It is good to clean your brushes probably once a week at least. I will admit I don't always do that. So what I like to do sometimes is I use like a little Neutrogena wipe, makeup wipe, and I just kind of clean them. It kind of makes a little difference. I don't know about you guys, but I like to put foundation on my neck so that way my face and my neck are the same color. So now that I have my primer on, I am going to let that set for a little while and I'm going to start on my eyebrows. I'm going to try out this. So I think that's good for now, guys. I just wanted to touch up my eyebrows a little bit. Now I'm gonna start on my foundation. I've been hearing a lot of great reviews about this foundation. You can see it. It is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And it's supposed to be a dewy smooth look. This is actually a matte brush, um, one of my favorite brushes. I'm gonna be using some Chrissy D Cosmetics brushes as well, but this is like my go-to for foundation. Love, love, love this brush. And now I'm going to use my Chrissy D Cosmetics Aplacina Blender. This is one of my new favorite beauty blenders, guys. It works really well, and I'm not just saying that because it's mine. And the great thing about this beauty blender, guys, is that you can use it wet or you can use it dry. I'm going to use it dry, and I'm going to use this side and this side. So I think I 
pretty good. I actually like this foundation. It's medium to full coverage and it does give you a deep look. So now I am going to start to contour. My favorite part. So I'm gonna try this one. This one looks the lightest. And what I'll do is I'm just gonna scoop a little bit of it and mix it in with my foundation to make it lighter. I'm gonna take some of my argan oil and dab a little bit. Take my spatula and just kind of mix it in. You see, kind of gives it a darker color than the foundation, but not as dark as this color here. brush guys this is actually in our amethyst collection 17 brush set by Christy B cosmetics it's great because you can use it to blush or to buff out your contour on your face So now I'm going to use this amazing primer by Smashbox. It's an eye primer and it's actually great for 24 hours. A little goes a long way guys, so just pour or push maybe about that much. Can you see it? And put it on your ring finger if you can. like this primer you guys because it's so soft and delicate it doesn't feel cakey I can already tell that my eyeshadow is gonna sit very nicely so now we're going to use the infamous world tour palette by Christy D cosmetics So, some of my favorite colors in this palette, you guys, are Dubai, Egypt, and Shanghai. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've already posted and wearing Egypt and Shanghai. But this time I'm going to use Dubai just a little bit in my crease, and I'm going to use Chrissy B Cosmetics brush from the Amethyst Collection. And I'm just going to ever so lightly dab on my brush and kind of it. The great thing about this palette, guys, is that it has a built-in mirror. So I'm actually going to use the mirror right now to apply. I just put a teeny bit, but as you can see, they're very pigmented, so I have to be very light with my application. But I'm also going to buff it out and blend it a little bit better. It's really important to make sure that you blend out the eyeshadow that you just applied to your crease. So this is actually one of my favorite brushes. It's not by Chrissy D Cosmetics, it's by Moda Pro. And one of my good makeup artist friends gave this to me and he swears by it. So. the other side. The next color that we're going to use from the palette is the Shanghai. You can use it as a highlighter on your high cheekbones or you can use it on the inner corners of your eyes and it'll just give you a tiny little pop. 
I'm gonna take my Chrissy B Cosmetics brush here, and this brush is great for when you're trying to apply, especially when you wanna get right here in these little corners. Because it puts just the right amount of eyeshadow on your eye. I'm tapping very lightly because, again, these are very pigmented, and I just cleaned my brush so it's a little wet. Now that I'm done with my inner corner, I'm going to just take my brush, I'm not going to put anything on it, and I'm just going to kind of blend again, but I'm not going to blend the inner corner, I'm going to make sure that I stay right here, right where my crease is. I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. This is actually a concealer brush, but you can use it as a precision applicator brush as well. I'm now applying Istanbul, and I'm making sure to apply only on the lid, but applying as close as possible without ruining my Shanghai color. I'm applying it as close as possible. You see? right here on the lid, right underneath my crease. So now I'm going to use Egypt, this really pretty rose pink color. I'm going to put it in between Shanghai and East Temple. So, just right here in my crease. And the good thing, because I'm cleaning my brush every time, my brush stays wet. So, the colors are coming out very pigmented. Don't they just look so beautiful, you guys? So now I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to blend out Shanghai and Egypt and I'm just going to kind of brush upward a little bit. And see you can kind of already tell that it's a lot more blended than this side. And if you want to, if you really like the frosted look, you can put a little bit more of the Shanghai in your inner corner, just to maintain that pop. Now I'm going to take this angled brush, and I'm going to lightly buff out the outer corner. It's actually good for you to have the pointed side pointing downward, kind of in a slant. I'm just going to brush This brush is great. Um, I love using it for my lips, or you can use it for the inner corners, or you can use it for underneath your eyes. So it's a great precision brush. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my Shanghai color again. I'm gonna lightly dab in my inner corners just one more time. I'm not a trained makeup artist, you guys. Um, I've had a lot of makeup artist friends over the years, and that's basically where I've learned all of my tricks. I'm very grateful because they've taught me a lot.
Now we're gonna use a little bit of concealer. I like to use the concealer after because if there's a little bit of fallout from the eyeshadow, I can clean it up. So I'm gonna use the 24 Hour Studio Fix Matte Concealer. You can see it. The great thing about this is that it comes with a little wand. So you can just apply it. See, because I didn't put that much on, you can still see my freckles, which is what I want. I also like to use a little bit of concealer right here. This is where it falls. I do the fish lips because it helps me contour my face a little bit better. And I also like to take a little bit of my concealer again, just lightly dab on my nose. And I take the pointed side again. I'm sure you guys have heard of this thing that all the girls do, and it's called baking. I like baking. I don't do it all the time, but whenever I want my makeup to sit just perfectly and look effortless all night, I'll bake. And I'm actually going to use Laura Mercier, her translucent powder. I kind of already dabbed some on there. right where I put my concealer earlier. And then a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And I normally like to put a little bit on my forehead too. Not too much, just a little. And I'm actually going to blend it out already with the sponge since I'm not putting that much on. Tell the difference already. So I'm just gonna let that bake for about maybe five minutes. So while we let this bake, I'm gonna take my precision brush again and I'm going to take a little bit of the Dubai color, which looks very similar to Moscow, but I promise you it is different. This is more of a reddish tone, this is brown. Right here underneath my lash line, sweep it. Dab it a little because there is some fallout as you can see. And the great thing about putting this color, this matte color, underneath my eyes, is it gives up the illusion of eyeliner. And it's a great shadow. So right now I'm going to take this foundation brush and just sweep off a little bit of the fallout.
and now blend. So if you would like a little bit more of a contoured look, um, I would say use a little bit of bronzer. I like using this one. This is by MAC. It's a bronzer. It's called Refined Golden. And it's nice because it has a little bit of sparkles in it, but it's very faint, very subtle. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of an angled brush here. You can see it. And I'm just gonna kinda lightly dab into the bronzer. really nicely on So now that I have added a little bit of bronzer to my high cheekbones, I'm now going to add some blush. I'm going to use this blush brush by Crystal Cosmetics. As you can see, I use it. Love this brush. I'm going to use this gorgeous color by Tarte Cosmetics called Party. What I like to do is put it right on my cheeks. I just put a little bit. get a generous amount again on the brush, the blush brush. The next step is going to be highlighter. And I'm actually going to use the same color that I used for my eyes, Shanghai, on my higher cheekbones. So I'm gonna take this brush lightly into Shanghai. If you guys don't remember, this one right here is Shanghai. I'm just going to lightly sweep right here and lightly sweep right here. And if you guys want to, you can put a little bit on your nose. And I like to also put a little bit right here. And I'm just gonna lightly sweep underneath my brows, right here on the brow bone. And you don't wanna put too much because then it'll look a little drastic. A little too drastic. And you want it to look just right. If you want to, you can touch up your brows now. Um, I like to make them a little bit more contour to my face. So if you'd like, this is how you're gonna do it. I am actually taking <laughs> the cream contoured palette from Anastasia. And I'm using this to contour my brows a little bit more. And I'm using this brush, my MAC. A little on the pricey side, but money well spent. Of hair, hair strokes. 
kind of shape it out a little bit better. And then I'm gonna just take this eyebrow brush and kind of brush them out again. My eyebrows are done. Now I'm going to use my eyeliner, and my favorite eyeliner right now is by Stila, and it's a waterproof eyeliner. Now that my eyeliner is done, because I don't like to curl my eyelashes before I put on my strip lashes, um, I like to prep them with a little bit of mascara. So I'm gonna use Chrissy D Cosmetics in Lashuation Mascara. And this is actually our best seller right now on ChrissyDCosmetics.com. This mascara is all natural, it has fibers in it, so it elongates all of your beautiful lashes naturally. So this is a color that may be in the new Chrissy D Cosmetics line. What do you guys think? All done. Thanks you guys for watching. I had so much fun making this YouTube tutorial with you guys. This was my first one. So woohoo, we got through it. So my next YouTube video, I'm actually going to do something really fun. I'm going to let you guys choose my next lip color that's gonna come out on Chrissy D Cosmetics. We're going to do three different lip colors and out of those three, the most voted color is going to be the one up on the side. Stay tuned.